you can make a pencil look broken even without breaking it. Interesting, right? All you need to do is dip a pencil into a glass of water and you see a broken pencil. Let us try to understand the science behind this broken pencil. The science behind this broken pencil is based on one simple fact. Whenever light encounters a change in medium, it bends. So here what exactly is happening is let's say this is how the pencil is inside water. So we have filled it with water till here. Now this is your actual pencil, a straight pencil. Then this is where we are looking at. So this is our eye. Now as I always say that whatever we see is whatever reaches our eyes. Now in this case, let us first see what do we see for the upper part of the pencil which is not in water. So this is in air. So let's say for these two points, the rays from these two points, the reflected rays, let's say there is some source of light here. So light falls on this pencil and the reflected rays, they travel straight because they are traveling in air and they reach our eye. So we are able to see these two points and similarly we see all the points of this pencil which is above water. Now how are we seeing the points of the pencil which are below water? So that is which are here. Let's consider these two points. So for these two points what happens is now again from some source of light the light reaches these points. Now when light tries to travel from this point and come out what happens is instead of traveling straight this light bends and this bending happens due to change in medium. So this is water with a refractive index of 1.33. This is air with a refractive index of 1. So the light is actually moving from optically denser to optically rarer medium. So it tends to travel away from the normal. So that, that's how these are the two rays that reach your eyes. Now, how do we see things? We see things based on what our brain interprets. Now our brain understands one simple fact that whichever rays reaches our eyes, they must be coming straight. So that's what the brain understands. Now for our brain, these are the two rays which are reaching our eyes. So brain assumes that the object must be somewhere here. And that is why if you extrapolate these two rays which reached our eyes, so whatever you see, that is where we see the pencil. So that is why instead of seeing the pencil here, we see it here. So th that's the reason we see the pencil as bent or broken, whatever you call it. Now another interesting thing, have you observed that the part of the pencil under water appears thicker than the original thickness of the pencil? Why does that happen? Now look at this picture carefully. What do you see? Now these two rays which reached our eyes, they converged at this point. So the moment you extrapolate them in the opposite direction, what happens? Gradually the distance between these points is increasing. So what is happening eventually? The thickness of the pencil which appears to you is increasing. So that is why you see a fat pencil inside water. So I think it, it is simply the concept of bending of light from water to air which makes a pencil look fatter and broken. I hope you liked the video. Like and share the video. Subscribe to our channel to get daily updates. Thank you.